morning. So I'm just quickly going to show you the different attachments that comes with the Kenwood because um, I use different ones for different parts of my recipes. I don't know KitchenAid, I've never used one, but I'm assuming it will be very similar. Um, and if you ask me what's best, KitchenAid or Kenwood, I'm going to go Kenwood, but I think it's like Pepsi and Coke or McDonald's versus Hungry Jacks. Everyone has their own personal opinion about it. But like I say, I'm a Kenwood person. I've had it for many, many years, never had any issues. It's like a, like a workhorse um, once they start going. Okay, so back to the attachments. This is your balloon whisk. So you can, it's easy to remember, it looks like a balloon. It's used for very light and airy mixes. So you can use this to beat up egg whites or whisk up egg whites to whisk um, creams to get like whipped cream and stuff. It also works really well for very liquidy batter. So if I'm thinking pancakes, which doesn't have like fat or anything hard or solid in it, it's just a very liquidy batter and this balloon whisk works really well for that. Okay, next one's the K beater. Easy, because you can see the K. Um, this is used for most other batters. So cake batters, cookie doughs, cookie doughs, yes, cookie doughs. Um, and if you don't have the creaming beater, which we'll come to, you can use this for buttercream icing as well. Um, you just have to make sure you keep using your spatula to get the clumps that will stick in there out so that your batter or your icing will be um, consistently mixed. So the K-beater um, works really well, like I say, with most cake batters and things. You can also use it to crush up cookies. So if you're looking for cookie crumbs uh, for a, what's it called, a, a cheesecake, like a cheesecake base, this works really well to crush up the cookies. And I've even heard people say they mash up their vegetables with this one. I've never tried it, but there you go if you ever want to give that a try. This one is the creaming beater. Now, my first Kenwood that I got, actually, no, my first Kenwood came with this, but my mum's Kenwood from like 30 years ago didn't have this. It's called the creaming beater and it's fabulous. I love it. It creams together your butter and sugar or your fat and your sugar. So if a recipe starts with cream together, butter and sugar, this is the attachment you want to use. The K beater will work as well, but this is just better. It's easier and it it has the same effect as using a spatula and creaming something against the side of a bowl. So this works great. And this is what I use to make my buttercream icings and it is so smooth and oh, it's just amazing. So this is, I don't want to say my favorite attachment, but I really do. I really do like this one. Okay, and then the dough hook. Again, easy to remember, you can see it looks like a hook, and that's for bread doughs and things. So it literally hooks the dough on there and it sort of just beats it against the side of the bowl. So instead of you having to use your hands to knead the dough, it just does it for you against the side of the bowl. Works really good. Then my um, my new Kenwood that I got uh, just like recently had this attachment as well, and it's called a Oh gosh, what's it called? A folding tool, that's right. So it folds together, um, if you have a light airy mixture, say like egg whites or meringue, and you want to fold in a dry ingredient, so if you're making macarons ideally, um, you would use this. So it will fold it together without beating the air out of your, well, out of your mix, out of your batter. So the folding tool, again, it works like a spatula, but instead of beating it against the sides of the bowl, it sort of lifts it away from the sides and up. So I haven't used it a whole lot, but yeah, it supposedly works really well. So there you go, the folding tool. If you don't have a Kenwood, don't go out and buy one. A normal handheld mixer works great for most cookie batters and um, or cookie doughs and cake batters. Buttercream icing will get a bit hard though. You can make it, but uh, you will need a bit more patience, I think, um, to get your buttercream nice and, and smooth with a hand mixer. Okay, well, there you go. I hope that helps someone and that you will know which attachment, attachment sorry, to use next time that you bake. Have fun.